Hello everyone, I am Mona Narwani. In this video, we will be studying the branching statements in C. In the previous video, we have checked the first branching statement that is simple if statement. If you have not watched that video still, just click on the link here. Uh, you can watch it video. I recommend you to watch that video and then uh, watch this second video on uh, branching statements where we are going to study the second type of uh, statement that is if else statement. So here if else statement is a two way selection statement. It is suitable when there are two choices that is you are going to select one from two alternative. Let's check the syntax. So here the syntax is if condition true block statements n else false block statements it can consist of a number of statements and then the statement x so let's check how the execution is done this condition is evaluated for true or false so this condition can return either true or false if the condition is true then the true block statements will be executed all the statements within this true block are executed that is when the condition is true if the condition is false then the control comes to else part where all the else block statements are executed and next the continue uh, the program execution continues with statement x so either of the block are executed and then the program continues from statement x so i'll repeat it, it once again if the condition is true the statements within true blocks are executed if the condition is false then the control comes to the else part where it executes the false block statements either of the block is executed and the program execution continues from statement x let's check the flowchart so here we are going to check the condition the condition can return either true or false if the condition result is true then the true block statements are executed and the program execution controls from continues from statement x if the condition is false then the flow goes to false block statements where the, all the uh, statements within flops, false block are executed and the, again the program execution continues from statement x. So the same thing has been given here. The condition is evaluated for true or false. If a condition is true then the statements within true blocks are executed or if the condition is false then the else part that is the flop, false block statements are executed. Let's check the example. So here uh, it's a simple C program to check whether a number is even or odd using if else statements. So the program is written here. We are going to declare a number which is of type integer asking a user to enter number where the number is read in the scanf statement. So we know that if number is divisible by 2 then it is even number. If it is not divisible by 2 then it is odd number. So that condition we are checking here number mod 2. So divisible by 2 means the result, the reminder must be 0. That is a number must completely divide by 2. In that case the number is even. So that uh, reminder is checked using modulus operation. So number mod 2, if the result is 0 and this 0 is equal to 0, then the number is even. The number mod 2, if this uh, returns some uh, non-zero value, then that non-zero value is equal to 0, condition becomes false. Therefore number is odd is executed so let's run the program and check it enter number so i'm going to enter some number as 55 number is odd is printed so what happens here is 55 mod 2 so that result the reminder obtained when you perform 55 mod 2 is not equal to 0 so the condition is checked here whether this result is equal to 0 so this condition becomes false therefore number is odd is printed let's check what is the output if the number is even so i'll give some input as some 32 which is even number therefore the output is also number is even so 32 mod 2 when you uh, perform division operation here uh, modulus operation returns into 0 so that 0 is equal to 0 the condition becomes true and the number is even is printed Let's take one more example to find largest of two numbers. So to find largest of two numbers, we are going to declare two numbers, number one, number two, both are of type integer. We are asking user to enter two numbers which are read in the scanf statements. So now the condition is checked here. 
If number one is greater than number two, then largest number is we are printing the value of number one. So and else we are printing the largest number is number two. Let's uh, run and check this uh, output of this program. So I'll ent it is asking enter two numbers. So I'll enter something like twenty three twelve. So the largest number is twenty three. So twenty three is uh, present in variable number one. Twenty twelve is present in variable number two. So twenty three greater than twelve. The condition is true. Therefore, the largest number is we are printing number one. That is twenty three. Let's run uh, one more time and check different output. So now I'm going to give thirty three and fifty four. So the largest is fifty four. So number one holds thirty three. Fifty uh, number two holds fifty four. Thirty three greater than fifty four. The condition is false. Therefore, the else part is executed where it is going to print that the largest number is number two. So the number two here is fifty four. Therefore, the largest number is fifty four is printed. So these are the references. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.